Welcome. In front of me I have Garmin Epix Pro Gen 2 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Before we start, uh, we can pair this watch with the Android phone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second way is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already set up because you can set it up without uh, connecting it to a phone. First I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process, then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the uh, settings. Okay, so let's continue. First thing you will need to do uh, is to turn on our watch and we can do it by pressing and holding the light button. Once you see the Apex Pro on the screen, you can release the button and wait until the watch uh, boots up. In the meantime, we can also download and install the uh, Garmin Connect application on the phone we want to pair our watch with. So go to your phone, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, uh, open the Play Store, tap on search bar and type in uh, Garmin Connect. Um, then tap on search. And you should see this application, Garmin Connect by Garmin. Tap on install to install it. Okay, now we can see that the watch turned on and on the screen of the watch, we see the uh, message. I, I believe it's ready or something like that. Anyway, once you see this message, it means that the watch, it's been factory reset or it's brand new. So basically we need to press the start button to continue. It will open the list of languages and we can swipe up and down on the list, on the screen rather, to scroll through the list uh, find the language you would like to use on your watch. Once you find it, tap on it to select it. And as you can see, now we're being asked if we want to pair our watch with a phone. We want to do that. So tap on the check mark and you, you, your watch will display the QR code, which indicates that the watch is um, in the pairing mode. It entered the pairing mode basically. Okay. Uh, as you can see, the app is done downloading. We can tap on open. And once you open the application, you will need to log in into a Garmin Connect account. If you don't have an account, tap on create account button and make a, a make an account. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, check the box, next, and enter the email address and password. Okay, and then we can tap on next to log in. And once you log in, you may see pop up on the screen about the permissions. If you see it, tap on allow access, tap on allow. And the app should detect your watch. If it doesn't, you can press the back button to go back. Then tap on the check mark to enter the pairing mode again. And hopefully that will solve your problem. And once the application detects your watch, tap on connect it, tap on allow. Tap on pair. Here tap on next. Right here we can set up the uh, sleep schedule. Basically the time you wake up and the time you go to bed. This is useful if you want to use the do not disturb mode during sleep. So. Basically, your watch will be muted when you're sleeping, so you won't be disturbed by, by the notifications and stuff like that. You can set up this time or edit it by tapping on edit. And you can set it up by tapping on bedtime. You can change the bedtime um, by swiping up and down on hours and minutes, then the wake time. And you can also select or unselect or basically select or deselect days on which the schedule should be working and once you're done you can tap on save and then um, once you're done setting it up you can tap on next and here we can allow the notification access this is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch and um, if you don't care you can tap on skip and deny it if you want to receive the notifications tap on allow notification uh, access then tap on allow notification access 
and then you will see an next permission which is the uh, no, no, mm, location my bad and location permission is required for the features like weather uh, training for example if you want to track your routes for the cycling running and stuff like that on the map and different features that basically require uh, notifi uh, not notifications but uh, location my bad so if you want to use any of these features you need to tap on allow location access if you don't care you can tap on skip and keep it disabled if you tap on allow location uh, access it will redirect you to this page tap on permissions scroll down and find the location tap on it and then tap on allow all the time or allow only while using the app then go back next we have the calendar access this is useful if you want to see the events from your calendars or calendar on your watch and maybe manage them also on your watch if you'd like to and if you want to do it allow the calendar access if you don't care tap on skip next we have the call log access this is useful if you want to uh, access your phone's call log, view the voicemails and stuff like that on your watch. Uh, if you don't care, you can tap on skip to keep it disabled. If you want to allow it, tap on allow call log access. This is also bas basically required for the notifications, I believe. So if you want to receive the notifications and see who, for example, is calling you and stuff like that, you will need to allow this permission. Next, we have the phone call access, basically the same stuff, but for phone calls, so allow ordinary permission messages allow ordinary ID permission and then tap on sync now finish and here we have a tutorial uh, about our watch how to use it and you can go through it by tapping on next button but I'm just gonna tap on skip and then finish okay and once you're done with the uh, pairing you, sh you will see the home page then you can tap on more Garmin devices and you should see your Apex Pro right here on the list. You can tap on it to open the device page for it and here we have it. So at this point the watch is paired with our phone. Now I'm gonna unpair it like this and once, you un once we unpair it we're gonna pair it through the settings. So I'm gonna show you how to enter the pairing mode on the watch uh, through the settings and to do it go to your watch uh, press and hold the uh, menu button to open the menu then scroll through the menu and find the option called um, connectivity once you find it uh, tap on it then select phone scroll down and tap on for pair phone and once you tap on it the watch will enter the pairing mode now download and install the app or open the app we're gonna open it because we have it installed already In the app you probably will need to log in or if you're logged in already you will see the home page and if you see the home page tap on plus here or more and uh, garment devices and add device the app should detect our watch you can tap on connected allow pair and then deal with the permissions and stuff like that to finish the setup Okay, and the watch is right here. If you tap on more and Garmin devices, it should be on the list. And it is, which means that the devices are paired. So that's how you pair this watch uh, with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.